Hello everyone, welcome back to DG360. I'm in the first wave of the PTU 3.10, having a great time. This one's gonna focus on the new trading app and the new point in new Babbage. This mode trader app, very cool. You can trade with your friends or your party that you're currently in, or you can even trade with other members that aren't in your party or your friends. Very cool. And this is the first iteration of it. I think they can spice up the, the, the looks of it just a touch, my personal opinion. But other than that, in function, it works great. Um, because the PTU was having issues with my friends list, as everybody was having, I found somebody on the server to do a transfer to, to test it out. It was very easy. I like the simplicity of it and found him transfer the 100 AUEC. It's just gonna help in so many ways being able to transfer that money. Thinking of doing just a video about the range of content this is gonna bring to the game. And boom, just like that, transaction successful. Make another transaction. This is going to change the game. This is something we've been pounding the table on since 2015. It's a feature that should have been in a long time ago. It's here. I'm very happy that it is here. Half of a percentage point as a fee. I know that six or seven percent was what was talked about, which is interesting because now we see that it's half of one percent on the app. Again, this is the first iteration of it. It could be the app having a transaction fee, uh, but six or seven percent was talked about as a UEE tax. Not quite sure that that's going to be built into the future like that. That's a whole nother video into itself. But regardless, I had a really great time just seeing this in the game it's it's a huge thing for me now we'll talk about this maybe on another video because it's a really huge topic for me and i'm glad it's here i want to talk a little bit about the new area in microtech okay i'm always excited when there's something new to see in star citizen now in the 3.10 first wave of this ptu i was very excited to go see what i could buy now spoiler alert before we even see what there is to see Nothing that I looked at was purchasable. So this is kind of like flirting with us, telling us about new products that will be operational items eventually within the game. And some of them were made me think like, wow, what 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 forward thinking? And others thought made me, made me think like, hey, so we're going to go through a couple of these products. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is an area in the commons on Microtech in a place called New Babbage. It, it, it has three floors the lobby floor which is where we came from this next floor down uh which are their gadgets that they're putting on display for their standard kind of retail customers you can see here that a lot of times when i walk through this by the way the npc the ai pathing seemed to be better i didn't see any npc standing on chairs yet which was really nice <laughs> and I also saw better pathing with the NPC. So the AI seems to be slightly improved, not nearly where it needs to be, but a, a better version of what was from prior 3.9. Here we see the Moby Glass 2. Uh, these are like wristbands that go around. You know, obviously this is your Moby Glass. So this is like an upgraded Moby Glass. Don't know what the difference between the new Moby Glass and the old will be. I'm sure there's going to be some types of color variations, you know, not just with the physical arm bracelet, but also with, you know, maybe perhaps the color, the backgrounds, the things that you're able to do with them. So that that'll be pretty interesting to see different types of Moby glasses out there. This was definitely different. The, you know, Microtech is the leader of holographic kind of three dimensional experiences. This one was uh, essentially like an uh, VR. You know, like you go into this thing and you and you have like VR experiences. You uh, you can't get into it. Uh, I don't even know if you want to make a game inside of a game, but it's a cool concept. I really like that. Here are some, you know, old school pads. <laughs> you know, wow, we're really throwing back to the uh, 21st century on those. But hey, people still use them. People still need the pads. Hey, I don't know. There's a lot of uh, theory crafters out there that would say, why even bother with having like anything pad related when you have a moby glass i don't know i am not going to start on that conversation but you know some things need to be thought about some things you know you want to improve upon i don't know these are things that you'll still see around here uh same way we still see some older technologies today it's just you know what happens in the real world so we're going down the steps again people are like steps i heard some people say why aren't there any elevators 
it's obviously a design feature. Now this is this can be used as an auditorium, which I thought was neat. Some of us theory crafted like, hey, maybe like since everything going on in the real world with Corona, they'll clear this out. And on each server, we'll be able to somehow experience Citizen Con this year by being in this auditorium. I don't think that's what you're going to see. Uh, here we see some blades that you're going to be able to put in ships that are very cool, filling in data. Uh, here's some more different types of blades that you're, you're seeing that you'll be able to have faster computation. These are all things that currently you cannot buy, that you cannot do anything with. There are no mechanics in the game right now where you can put these blades in your ship. But they're just, they're, they're putting it down. First iteration, here's the design, the physicality of it. Here's here's what they look like, and here's what they're going to do. So it's neat that they're putting in the, in in the game. It was a little bit anticlimactic for me because when I got there, I was really hyped up to try to buy new things, and of course, that's just not where we're at right now. Here's here's something really cool: uh, um, um, a hollow projector, which is neat. You know, I'm thinking about different ways you can use that, maybe for combat, which would be fun. Uh, they're on on a very old episode of Around the Verse. Like we're talking long ago, people were talking about like setting traps with like imaging, and I think like this might be the very origin of what we're seeing. The first iteration of those hollow projectors, very cool. And again, we're coming back around here, and uh, you can see uh, what they're what they're calling uh, the uh, MVO booster blade. Um, so again, like all these different blades. Uh, meant to help your ship to be able like we're talking about engineering we're talking about what's going to happen in the future with your ship so you know it gets me excited in that sense that we're talking about you know what's going to happen you can see all the different various uh inputs uh on the back of these which are really cool how they're going to fit on different ships you know that's another issue so very detail oriented as is star citizen that's the way it is now here we got something for the more industrial kind of guys we got you know strategic uh hollow tables essentially and this i could imagine like inside starships where where strategy is focused on you know three-dimensional space warfare uh, being able to read, uh, you know, essentially what you see in a Carrick or in an Idris or a Javelin. You'll probably see a few of these and hopefully they'll be able to get these things to hook up to, you know, your location around your ship, which would be absolutely brilliant. I could see other uses for these in people, uh, in people's, you know, homes or, or rented apartments, places where, you know, perhaps you could play games on these things. I'm not quite sure. There's a lot of different uses for these tables. I just like the, the basic looks of them. Again, not functional. Nothing happened. You can't press anything. Just there as placeholders. There's the assets. What they're going to do with them in the future? Hopefully a lot. Like, I really look forward to this type of technology. I think each planet or each moon that has these types of... Uh, civilizations or, or the, the population on them that have a, a culture around them should have some type of go-to and microtext is uh holograms uh and and vr and very high tech very much like an apple here we have spheres hollow spheres they would be i, I would imagine useful in the same way the table would i i kind of think that this is uh redundant like these hollow spheres to me why even have them if you have the tables? Doesn't make sense to me, but hey, maybe you guys can make better sense out of the hollow spheres versus the hollow tables. That's up to you guys. I'd love to see what you guys say in the comments down below. And then over here, I think we had some type of um, uh, data analysis, kind of like a scanner. Um, again, I'm editing the video as we go here, and so I'm going off of memory from last night. But I believe this was some type of, yeah, okay, a diagnostic cart. Um, that's really cool. So basically it, it's in, in forms of, of helping humans out, not your ship. So this is more of a medical type of item. Very cool. And these are more, these are going to be probably pricier downstairs is where the real pricey stuff is upstairs for the average retail consumer down here, you know, nitty gritty for those hardcore organizations that have lots of dough that are doing more industrial type things and microtech is is showing the the depth of what they what they get into and i just can't wait uh to show you uh the grim hex editions because that's what i'm really looking forward to so that'll be uh the next video 
and we'll talk about flight as well. I'm, I'm focusing on 3.10 throughout the weekend. We got a great announcement for a giveaway coming up. Thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you on the next vid or stream. Thanks to all my Patreon members. Thanks to all my YouTube membership for keeping this channel afloat. Love you guys.